Hey, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. So, if you've seen my post already, you probably know what I'm going to talk about. If not, we're going to talk about NASPY and my attempt to create a box. Uh, or design the box uh, without using any software because I'm crap at it. So I'm much better with crafting. Therefore, I found some cardboard knocking about and there it is. Uh, this is the uh, NASPY NAS box with Plex and uh, right one. It has three drives and I'm gonna give you a tour once I switch over to a different camera. The biggest advantage of this box is that uh, you can remove the drives as you wish because uh, each bay supports it and then you can close it as so on the other side. Right now it's really really uh, tough to do it because uh, the bays itself aren't fitted to the, um, to the chassis. So once I've got proper perspex, which uh, just waiting here for me, that's uh, gonna be a nice uh, color. Uh, then obviously that's gonna be all bolted in and you will be able to uh, open up the, uh, um, the base and just simply remove the drives. Uh, so uh, I have three drives, those are ride one. So uh, one is gonna be a backup of each other and they are 150 gigs each and uh, uh, I have a uh, Plex also running on this and that's going to be 1.5 uh, terabyte uh, for Plex server. Uh, as you can see there is only one cable going in, that's the uh, power button and obviously uh, they're all going to be connected um, to the Ethernet uh, using um, cable here. So this is the back plate. In the top I've misaligned this and that's why one of the reasons I did the uh, um, cardboard rather than cutting into uh, a burst specs uh, straight away because I misaligned the uh, um, HDMI input. However, if I'm uh, if I'm honest, I'm not 100% sure whether I'm going to do this actually because I don't I don't think I'm going to use it at all. So let's take a look quickly at the front. At front, it's going to be a nice flat um, base, and I'm going to have a nice uh, Raspberry Pi logo on front. Uh, and there's nothing nothing else in here. Just a wire cable and then to the enter. An Eter Eternal Jack, come on! Just express yourself properly. So, and if you have a quick, quick look around, you can see all the all the bays inside. Uh, there is a hub which is powered, and this hub also powers Raspberry Pi. And Raspberry Pi has been modified to receive the power from the hub and uh, to connect to the hub internally rather than through the USBs from the back. That's why you only see one port. For the USBs. You can still use these USB ports uh, for transferring files if you wish uh, to do so that way. Next week I'll be actually making the box itself, the enclosure, and I'll be using a laser cutter to actually cut into Perspex and uh, create this box. Uh, so this is when I anticipate I'm gonna finish the, the project. So I'm really excited, I'm gonna be playing with lasers. Yes, the world is in danger. And then I'm gonna show you final result, do some uh, testing and once everything's done and I'm happy with it, I'll share the, um, well, I'll write up this um, last version, like last part of the build log. So until then, take care, bye.